Live on the book of faces with right Salem now. Surround. Increasing sales dramatically. What's up, Facebook folks? By logging on to surroundhouston.com. That's surroundhouston.com. Connecting you with new customers. This is Business 11. Share. The following program paid for by Right Path Real Estate does not necessarily... If only Jeff could have been here. Opinions of the Me and my... Wearing my Aggie sweater. Yeah. <laughs> He'd have loved that. It's time to get on the right path with Right Path Real Estate Radio He'd have, with Tom Perry. He'd have so loved it. Get the answer to your he probably would have had his Longhorn sweater on. Yeah, I'm sure, but he would have planned on that. Have a, have you ever, has he? No, he... Not that I know of. He's not... See, Longhorns don't have the same kind of school spirit that the Aggies do. But you know I find most of the Longhorn fans never actually went to school there. Huh? Hey, good morning, Michael. Morning. Now here's your host, Tom Perry. Hot mics. Hey, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Right Path Real Estate Radio. So in in real estate investing, you're in business for yourself. You get to be your own boss. That's what you want. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's great news for some people, not so good for others. Some people really don't know how to employ yourself, but the, the, the better news is you're not in business by yourself. Right. You know, you know, you really have a team. In fact, I was having this conversation on uh, Tuesday. We were doing our, uh, our introduction to wealth through real estate class on Tuesday night. And I said, you know, it's, you know, Warren Buffett, obviously, he has a lot of money, right? But they say that your net worth is directly related to your net worth. Right. right. <clears throat> so can you imagine the network he has? I mean, if, if, when he pulls out his flip phone, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, do you realize the Rolodex that he's got in his flip phone? I mean, that's... It's unbelievable. It's, you could take all his money away, and, and it's like, man, he could... And so... If you're getting into real estate investing, you could start building your, you know, how many people are already in your network that you when could. When you start from day one. Now, so imagine, yeah. imagine if Warren Buffett said, hey, here's the deal. I, I'm going to sell my network. Hmm. You know, w- would you pay like 50 bucks for his network? Hmm. Now, assuming that his endorsement came along, like it's the really, it, like, right. like, like, you know, that it really worked, that there was a transfer of his network, you know, to whoever they worked with buy. him the same way they yeah, right, with yeah, you. right, of course, right, right. And so, you know, what would you, what would that be worth? I mean, what would you pay for that? It could be the difference between a successful business or not. In some some cases, yeah. and so you yeah. know, on Build Your Team Thursday, what we do is we bring in you know our network. Mm-hmm. You know, Right Path has developed. You know, more specifically, I've developed a network of people that I work with as a real estate investor. You know, appraisers and property managers and contractors mm-hmm. and inspectors and you know on down the list. And so you could go and build your own network. Or you could borrow it from someone else. Right. And that's really what this so you I uh, appreciate that you're part of my network. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate it yeah. too. So you know that that's one of the things I realized is that if I lost it all, you know, don't uh-huh. don't plan on doing that, right? Put it put step but if I if, if I ever were to lose you, you could lose everything financially, but you still don't lose your network. Mm-hmm. And that that's why you see people that have if they've ever lost money, you know, they don't lose their network and and they, they they bounce, they bounce back. right back. They bounce back quickly because they've got their network. So and they had a <coughs> history of doing it once before. Correct. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So anyhow, all that being said, I've, I'm joined live in the studio by Elijah. He's uh, hey. my brother from another mother. He's uh, with Fast Track, uh, one of the owners of, of Fast Track, uh, one of the principals, one of the one of the guiding lights, one of the. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop with the superlatives. <laughs> so he, he's the man with the plan. I mean, he's. Man, that's a bunch of cliches. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I haven't had a double spark, but you would think. I mean, I'm just, I just I just woke up with a great mood, and like always, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. There's no other way to wake a up. Pep in my step. <laughs> 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 All right, so tell us what's going on in the marketplace. Are you seeing? You know, I was talking with. Uh, in fact, it's our next guest. She she's going to be a best of today. But I was talking with her earlier in the week, uh, Michelle Rodriguez with mm-hmm. uh, Next Gen Appraisals. And she was saying that, you know, she thinks that this year, volume-wise, a little down from last year. That last year was really, really busy because of... Because pro- of the flooding. Pro- pro- possibly because of Houses, flooding. possibly, yeah. Yeah. And then what What have y'all seen? Have y'all seen a downturn in the last couple of months? Or have you seen an in, an, an, up, an uptick? <coughs> I think it's hard to, to, to get exactly when it started. Yeah. There, this certainly has happened. 
when it started and if it was detrimental to those of us that have stayed consistent through the years. Right. Or if it was only detrimental to those that were expecting call growth. being called when, when they were on, on the uh, – extra list right, right of yeah. all the extra growth that had already been happening mm -hmm. because of the flood um i feel like we've probably dialed back to what's mostly normal yeah it feels like a slump though when that happens yeah sure right because because it's normalizing yeah and uh even though real estate has its value regardless of opinion uh it it, it, it that doesn't lose down to zero because of opinion right right um, there is some measure of that probably happening like, oh, no, houses are staying on the market a little longer. Right. What are we going to do? Uh, people who had put their portfolios on like six, seven, eight out there that didn't sell, maybe they've stalled out just for a minute. Right. You know, but when those sell, then they, they'll, they'll find themselves back in on it. We had one person in particular that had a house that was th that was longer than they had hoped yeah. to be on the market. Whole time was longer. Whole time was probably two to maybe three times longer than what they had anticipated. And, and yeah, so can you quantify that? So It they, was about they, eight months, I think. Okay, seven so months. So they had budgeted two or three months, probably. and it went seven or eight months. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, in fact, when we go through our numbers in, in our weekend uh, uh it's it's the wealth through real estate workshop. That it's a two day event, and uh, we've got new names for the, for the events that we're doing. So cool. it's, it's it's all wealth through real estate. Great. And um, you know one of the things we talk about is that oftentimes new investors they'll budget. You know they'll they'll look. Oh man, it's thirty days on market, so they'll budget thirty days to close the property, right. which really doesn't. And and that is a super hot market. That doesn't allow for the contingency of, you know, normal is about three to five months. Yeah. That's normal. So we always budget no less than three months of whole time just for being on the market. Then we then it's the number of months for the construction. Right. Then it's never less than 60 days to close. So we never budget less than five months. So it's always five months at a minimum plus construction time. Right. And so then, therefore, if you, you know if you've got sixty thousand dollars in construction, now you're at seven months. And I feel like that that's you know if I go eight months but I budgeted seven, that's not as bad as if I budget two and go seven. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the big thing is I'd I'd rather budget worse than I expect and be surprised because then hey if I if I close it in thirty days and I budgeted five months mm -hmm. you know now it's now i've got five months of holding time going that's extra profit that's how you can go above 10 or 12 percent that's is right. when you execute better than your budget that's good yeah yeah and i also think that this particular person in case people are wondering if it's going to take them out of the game or not what they're saying is i'm actively looking now because we're about to close on this property yeah sure right. so it didn't slow them down in sense of feeling like there was still Deals in the in the market. Price range were they flipping? They, it wasn't that high. I yeah. believe it was probably two forty five. Yeah, and so normally Do you think they over rehab for the competition. I, I think that they in on the exterior of the home. I think they under rehab. Okay. Yeah. On yeah. the interior, they did great. Yeah. Um, but when people got <laughs> out there, there were some things that were on the exterior that they let let go. Yeah. Um, in, in particular, sometimes, and Jeff talks great about this, but uh, the money shows up somewhere, yeah, right? Course, so right. their budget didn't allow for them to do all the outside stuff yeah, that right. they wanted. Right. And and so they were going to concede. Well, it uh, turned out that they had a couple buyers that went almost all the way through the process. So that was part of the issue, right? Yeah, right. That could sometimes happen. That, yeah, that does slow things yeah, down. Yeah, it could right. slow it down. Yeah. So, but uh, That's that where an agent can really make a difference. And one of the things, we, we do retail listings for mm -hmm. other investors. And that's one of the things that I believe that, you know, through Ivy Partners that, that, that Audra does a really fantastic job of, is if you get an investor through that process, she's really great at keeping that investor, the, that buyer on, on the line, so to speak. You know, it's mm -hmm. like you got a fish on the line, you're not going let them hop off and she's really great at communicating because if they've already fallen in love or strong like with the house it w right i mean it, uh, there's almost very little that's not fixable it's like you know they're not you can't fix it it's on the corner but you you already know that when you put it under contract so almost mm -hmm. anything that would cost somebody to back out you can right. fix it if you've got the right agent. That's where when we talk about, you know, some people say, well, why don't you just list your own properties? Well, I'm not a tenant at that. I'm not really great at – I'm really good on the buy side, mm -hmm. not as good on the sell side. Mm -hmm. And and so that's where you, you always have to have a person that's a tenant at what they do. So That's good. <clears throat> yeah, so, so this person and a couple others have, have – noted to me that you know things are just holding on a little bit longer i'd say that's that's a trend uh small other trend of some prices going up um the 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 most recent tariffs that we're going to be coming up from 
Chinese products yeah. uh, has been delayed for the time being. Okay. But uh, and I <coughs> almost mis- I almost misread the the uh, document that was talking about this as well. But the ten percent that's already happened is still in effect. Oh, got it. Okay, so there was going to be a twenty five percent hike overall. Yeah. Um, starting in January, the the extra fifteen percent was going to be coming up. That's been delayed. What, what kind of materials is that going to have an effect? Is that, is that going to affect bathtubs? Um, I would say mostly flooring and <coughs> like counter, countertops, mostly. Is that going to affect uh, tile, for example? Yeah. The, the kind of tile that you can, there, there, It can affect some of the tile we use, not yeah. all of the tile we right. use. Yeah. Um, there's what about carpet? Does it affect the carpet? It affects, it affects some, some suppliers of carpet and, and wood floor and, okay. and some tile and countertops. There's a, a few other things that have been affected. What, what's happened is the business models of, of our suppliers haven't been just exactly right away right. knowing how to uptick on some of those things and I think they were just deciding how their business model was going to do and if those tariffs were going to stay before they really started those hikes. So you're going to you're going to start seeing some of that starting to roll out and it's at the same time that it's ca- saying that it's pushed back. So yeah. people are going to get confused, I yeah, think. Yeah, right, sure. Yeah, because it, the the increase is going to show up at the same time that that they're saying it's not because of what has already happened. Ah, uh, I got it. Is so there really <laughs> wasn't an, an increase when the 10% came before, right? So yeah, not everybody <coughs> increased their pricing right away. So now they are increasing those things. So right. it's also going to affect cabinets because I know a lot of the flat yeah. cabinets are, are made in China, China and all that. So, yeah. Okay, so you're listening to Right Path Real Estate Radio. Uh, want to give out – oh, you know what? I never did. I never – oh, man, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll put it out live now. So Fast Tracks uh, on the green screen. Fast Track Remodeling. It's FastTrackRemodeling.com, FastTrackRemodeling.com. Phone number is 832-742-9992, 832-742-9992. For all your real estate investor needs, they don't do occupied houses, don't do owner houses, like but the only investment houses, except for roofs, roofs and, and HVAC. And HVAC. Yeah. So you can get investor Absolutely. pricing for your own personal residence on roofs and HVAC. Correct. And then for all of your other, for buy and holds, for buy, fix, and flip, uh, if you need them to come out and give an estimate, you can give same-day estimates, not the same day you call, but the same day you walk the house. Yes. You can get it literally within about an hour or so, nine times out of ten, right? That's correct. Yeah. Or, uh, unless there's something that. really unusual that you've got to research. Which does happen sometimes, but yeah, for the most part, we're, we're offering the same-day estimate yeah. on-site, correct. Yeah. Here's the other thing that you don't realize is that, you know, y'all's scope of work is really done in the order that the work should be done, which makes it really easy. Let lenders like that because mm-hmm. it makes it easy for the draw schedule and all that. It also eliminates communication gaps. You know, I, I'm, I'm working with one of our students right now that unfortunately didn't use fast track. It was a timing thing and all that. And, and he's like, and now he's running into the issues. And I'm like, oh man, this is the reason why fast track does it like this. And it's like, oh, it's so uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyhow, hey, go with Fast Track. They do a great job. FastTrackRemodeling.com, 832-742-9992. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. All right. Mic's off. All right, thanks. Are you looking for an investor-friendly general contractor for your investment property? Then call Fast Track Remodeling at 832-742-9992. Or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. FastTrack Remodeling specializes in turnkey remodeling of single-family investment properties. Whether it's a flip rehab or a rental rehab, we manage every aspect of a rehab from start to finish with a highly efficient, standardized process. Over the last six years, FastTrack has completed over 700 projects, which has helped us to create our three keys to success. Use a detailed scope of work so that everything gets done, Train and maintain quality crews so it gets done right, and complete the work in a proper order so it gets done fast. No more managing it yourself, no more doing the work yourself. Fast Track Remodeling really does manage it all. So give us a call today at 832-742-9992. Again, that's 832-742-9992, or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. Hello, real estate investors. Do you need a lender that moves fast at the speed of a jet to fund your investment properties? Jet Lending will help you purchase properties quickly with as little cash out of pocket as possible. Jet Lending also sets up a repair escrow fund to help you with repair costs. Jet Lending has originated over 2,000 loans in Texas, valued at over $250 million. Jet Lending will help you evaluate your deals for free and give you feedback on value cost of repairs, and potential loan amount. Jet Lending is your fast and friendly hard money source for first-time investors and seasoned professionals. Call 281-872-7800 or email us at info at jetlending.com. 
Oh, and don't forget about our famous Third Wednesday Super Investor Networking Meeting. Lots of fun, lots of great real estate talk. We'll see you there. You found or inherited a great investment property. Problem is, you don't know how much it's worth, or more importantly, what to do to maximize your investment while mitigating risk. This is exactly why we started Next Gen Appraisals. Next Gen is a group of appraisers specializing in investment real estate. We understand that investors aren't just looking for a number of what their property is worth, but a comprehensive analysis of the market. Give NextGen a call at 713-346-9911 or check us out online at nextgenappraisals.com. Time is money in a real estate deal. If your insurance company is slow or non-responsive, you could lose a deal like that. You need a quick turnaround on quotes, binders, and the agency for that is Benchmark Insurance Group of Texas. The team at Benchmark understands the investor mindset. They know what you need and when you need it. It's there for you. Call Houston's leading real estate risk management experts. Benchmark Insurance Group of Texas, 281-569-4353. That's 281-569-4353. Or online at benchmarkbroker.com. Do you have cracks in your brick, doors that stick, or sheetrock that's coming apart? Then you may have foundation movement. Due to our expansive soils in the Houston area, it's probably not a question of if you have movement, but when. Call Foundation Check for a truly independent, unbiased foundation evaluation. Foundation Check has been in business since 2009 and has completed over 1,400 evaluations. We're not in the business of repairing foundations or selling you unnecessary peer work, but we are in the business of evaluating your foundation. Our product is designed for house flippers, landlords, or even owner-occupied properties. Each of our files is reviewed by a licensed engineer. Remember to check before ever repair. Call 346-702-3825. That's 346-702-3825. Or you hey, you're there, right? Online. You're getting ready to go. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to switch to next gen. That's there we go. Right. Okay. And there we go. This Thanks. This is business. Bye. So, uh, All right, welcome back. Right Path Real Estate Radio, 713-785-1817 if you want to call in and ask questions about appraisals. So did a quick change during the break, and I have Michelle Rodriguez and Steven. Yes. Is that right? All right. Mm-hmm. With Next Gen Appraisals, their web address is nextgenappraisals.com. That's nextgenappraisals.com, 713-346-9911. That's 713-346-9911. So let's talk about appraisals. Sure, why not? Yeah, during the break, <laughs> we were kind of kidding about, yeah. I did. Foundation. I got a tour of your office space. It's beautiful, a yeah. new office. Yeah. Really you like saw it. people on a boat out on the lake? I know, there's a <laughs> That's not typical. It's the first time since we've been here, and all the times, even for the last several months while we were negotiating everything, right. that, that I've ever seen a boat out on the lake. But Yeah. yeah it's and when kind you of guys come for the events, the speed limit is 21 miles per hour. Yeah. <laughs> w- <laughs> They'll go over there. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly <laughs> that was right. great. Yeah. So, uh, so what's going on with appraisals? Not much lately. Uh, something we talked about at y'all's event last time when you had the panel is we're seeing a lot of these homes that flooded in Harvey. They were bought by investors, and for whatever reason, the deal fell out. Right. Now a second investor is buying it, or even in some cases a third. And I'm seeing more and more of those lately. Yeah. So that's been kind of interesting, seeing what's going on and up against that. And then we're also getting... Have you seen those prices going up, going down, staying sideways, what? You know, I... I I wish that it had happened where I did the first appraisal for right. the first investor, but that hasn't happened yet, so sure. I haven't been able to track that. Um, I guess I could do a previous past appraisal and see, but I don't know. That takes a lot of time. Right. <laughs> we'll, we'll try. Maybe we'll, we'll do that yeah, on the next one. In case you're suffering from insomnia some night yeah, or something I, like that. Yeah, yeah, if I just feel like figuring out what's going on with the Houston market one day, we'll, we'll do that. But um, – so what do you see going forward for 2019? And we talked about a little bit at our last panel, our panel of experts, in terms yes. of what's coming up for 2019. What do you see in terms of what price range? Because, you know, one of the things that I always try to avoid is broad statements about the real estate market is going to do this. Well, right. It's always market specific. There's correct. always that little asterisk on every mm-hmm. comment. But what we're seeing right now is that interest rates have gone up. And right. So that means people's payments have gone up, meaning they can afford the same payment but less of a loan correct so 
Uh, what's going to happen? Yeah, so let's talk about that because you said a lot right there. So sure. if somebody can afford, let's say, $2,500 a month, mm -hmm. if you're at a 4% mortgage, 3.9% mortgage, that might be a $350,000 house. Right. But that's a three hundred and fifteen or three hundred twenty thousand dollar house if it goes up to like four and a half or four and three quarters percent. It's right. the same monthly payment, but it lowers the value of the house because most people are payment buyers. Correct. And so, you know, if someone can afford three thousand dollars a month, it's three thousand dollars a month and they they want to go out and buy as much house as that three thousand dollars a month can afford. Correct. And as interest rates go up, that means less and less. So what you find is people want to live in neighborhoods where other people paying $3,000 a month are affording to live. Right. And so that can have an impact. So if the interest rates continue to rise, and it has more of an impact on more expensive houses. Mm -hmm. And I would actually say it has a reverse impact on lower-priced houses. And the reason why what my philosophy is about that is if you have a $125,000, $130,000, dollars house, those are typically landlord houses. Correct that retail buyers have really been kind of shut out of getting mortgages in that price range. And I think as interest rates rise, then underwriting starts to loosen in that price range. It makes more sense for the investors that like buying mortgage-backed securities for those to take more risk as the, they get more reward for interest rate. And then it also makes more sense from a lender, from like a mortgage originator standpoint as well. Sure. There's actually some money in that at that point. So I think yeah. it helps the lower end of the market. I think it ha hurts the higher end of the market. Sure. Well, it's going to make the lower end of the market more competitive. Correct. And then it's your point of view if that's a good or bad thing. It's a good thing for a seller, maybe not a good thing for a buyer. Right. But it's definitely going to make that more competitive space. Yeah, it's going to bring more retail it, buyers. I've, right. I've said for a long time there's been very few retail buyers in that space where buy and hold investors operate. Five years ago, there were we were competing with retail buyers. Sure. I'd say eight or nine out of every ten buyers buying a house in that price range were retail buyers, and then one or two of those were investors, and I think that that's flip-flopped. Right. I think it's more eight or nine are investors, yeah. one or two are retail, and I think if interest rates rise a little bit, that'll go back to what I call more normal. <laughs> more normal, Well, yeah. I don't think it's normal for the investors to be eight or nine out of every it's ten. It's not, yeah. yeah. Um, long time ago, probably about two years ago, I saw a study, and I haven't been able to find another one similar to it, but in the Texas market, investors represent only about two to three percent of all real estate purchases um and so because this is what we do we're right. in this space it just feels we get like skewed. a lot right, sure. yeah it right. feels like it's so much more but we're really the minority when it comes to buyers and so right. like you were saying uh, when it's flipped like that, it's not necessarily a good thing. Right. It's not normal. It's not normal. It, it's right. not, well, I'll we'll also say long term, it's not sustainable, I don't believe. I mean, you can sure. do it for two or three years at a time, and then the market will flip-flop again. Cause, sure. Uh, but I also don't think that these low, super low interest rates like this are sustainable long term, which no. is not necessarily a bad thing. So. Yeah. so interest rates are going up, and then it's also intersecting uh, with our market has slowed down a little bit lately, too. Not significantly, it's just yeah. When you talk about cool slowdown, off. some people go, "Oh my gosh, yeah. it's going to take a year to sell a house." Yeah, not. we'll never bounce back. No, yeah. we're just cooling off right now. So but you're seeing going things, from like what three weeks was? I mean, if you had a house on the market for three three weeks to thirty days before if it was priced right, that sure. was like a long time, right? Well, but, you know, we're fortunate in what we do. We see a lot of stuff that wasn't even listed yeah. at all. Right. You know, see a lot of off, and we're not seeing those right now. Yeah, you're not seeing any off market deals mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. So. Uh, it's more and more reliant on marketing and putting in a, a public system like the MLS uh, in order to sell your home. And we're also seeing the days on market go up, right? Yeah. And so sellers are now in a position of do they want to hold out for that price that they were hoping for? Right. Or are they going to start trying to drop the price or maybe put some money into the house to try and sell it and make it more competitive. Uh, and how much of that do you think is the market and how much of that is the season that people don't want to buy, you know, go out shopping for a house? I mean, we're two weeks away from Thanksgiving. It's, it's the, the season. season. Yeah. Yeah, it's the season. We have a, uh, yeah, we have a silicone market in the Houston area. But I also, my personal, and this is no, not represented by any data, it's just my personal theory, uh, last year is when Harvey hit. Right. And so... When we usually slow down last year, right. that didn't happen. Correct. Because everybody started trying to buy up these flip properties. We had a Yeah, ton I remember of like the week the after. Do you, do you remember like how aggressive investors <laughs> got like two weeks after? I mean, flyering neighborhoods. I mean, they just sure. could not get into buying those houses fast yeah. enough. We're like, oh my God, the greed set in. And I, I think a lot of people made some bad decisions in that. Sure. Yeah, and yeah. we're seeing that now, right? right. But mm -hmm. um, we saw a lot of money come in from out of the state, even out of the country. Right. And so. 
we should have cooled off like we normally do last year. And so this year, I think it's going to be, catch up. for lack of a better way of putting it, like a double cool mm-hmm. off. And then it's just going to plateau and go back to normal. Yeah, what do you think next spring will be? I mean, because we're really at, the, you know, where the biggest bulk of most retail buyers, you know, from uh, from April to, what, August, well, September? I, s- I started to see um, there's a surplus of flip homes. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I'm starting to see, when we first started after Harvey, you, it was hard to find comparables that were built. Yeah. It was all sure. wholesale, wholesale. Right, sure. And now when you're doing appraisals, finding comparables are it's easy because yeah. there's so many flip homes being done. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I, this spring I can see almost a surplus. A of, surplus of flip yeah. homes? Yeah. yeah. And being we're seeing finished. that right now, too, mm-hmm. because we're seeing a lot more listings in available inventory than we see what's actually closing month over month. Yeah. Um, so, so what's the average days on market right now? Oh, I can't remember. Depends on the area. Yeah. yeah, I think it's in the 60s right now. 60 days on market yeah. is about average? Okay. Yeah. So if you're sitting on a market, on a house, 75, 80 days, something like that, you start, really is the marketplace telling you that you're not priced right, right? Probably. But the other thing, too, is that we're so used to an aggressive market, and so people aren't waiting until 60 days to start dropping that price. Right. You're seeing that really at about 15 days, if you haven't sold, you need to drop the price. Correct. Is what a lot of, um, I guess, realtors are telling their sellers. Um, but yeah, we just we don't have as many buyers on the market right now. It's slowed down, and we have like you. Where did all the buyers go? <laughs> Come back! <laughs> they already bought their homes, and right. they're happy. They don't need another home. Um, I'm starting to see trust issues as well because I think too many people. I think after Harvey, a lot of people thought they can be <coughs> like all those seminars. Like I can flip yeah. homes. Yeah, of course. So you're getting a lot of amateurs in right. the market. So you're starting to see like even when I do appraisals, there's a very big difference between. The quality, right, in the finished product. Yeah, it's visible, sure. right? It's very visible. Yeah. So I think buyers now are starting to say, "Well, who did this house?" And yeah, starting. So right. some houses sit on the market for a long time. Doesn't mean that the market is slow. Especially for the flooded houses, what you're yeah. talking about. It's yeah, just, an yeah. interesting story with that. You told me about the right. closet. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you want to share that or not. But, um, but yeah, we're like you said. People Which story about the closet? When you didn't, you don't finish out closets, right? Correct. And then you had a potential buyer. They weren't interested in it because they questioned what else you must have missed Correct. in the house. Right. That well, probably I think was, wouldn't have happened no. yeah. three months ago. Right. Because it was such a competitive space. It was like, well, this is the only house that's here, and, you know, we can afford it. Let's get it. You know, and we'll do the closet ourselves. Right. So. Yeah, in fact, because out of, like, the last probably 15 houses that we flipped, we haven't put finished out the closet. When, mm-hmm. when we were doing a major upgrade in terms of redesigning the master bath, master closet, all of that. Mm-hmm. And it's the only time that it's ever been brought up. Sure. And, I, and but that's per, this one particular person, and since then we've put it in the in the uh, comment section of the pictures. Well, that, that makes th- sense. That it was left that way on purpose. So that was by design, not. And not uh, and this particular agent also made a, a couple of other kind of oddball comments that I thought were you know in, kind of interesting. But yeah, but I think that's going <coughs> back to what Stephen was saying is that not only is there uh, loss of trust in other things, but that now there's starting to be loss of trust in investors from the general public. Well, there's I, so many of these flip homes, and not all investors are created equal, right? And so you have different quality of these flips coming on the market. So maybe we had another house. That, uh, in fact, I can't believe that the buyer's agent really went through all of this. But there were uh, her clients <clears throat> had looked at over a hundred houses. That's not <laughs> and, and put in a, an offer, on, a verbal offer on ours. Never actually came through with a written offer. Mm-hmm. We fell in love with the house, and then. And then, for whatever reason, got cold feet. Somebody else came in, bought it out from underneath them. But they said after walking 100 houses that they could tell the difference between this house and the quality that had gone in it versus all the others. And that's exactly what, to your point, they said that there are so many bad things that they started noticing. Well, what's really going on behind the walls? Did they... Did they do the brick ties properly? Did right. they do the vapor barriers? Is there a vapor barrier back there at it all? Looks they, nice. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, it does, right. It looks nice, but what about Correct. what I can't see? Yeah, right. The question Did they mark. fix the termite damage? You know, because that's one of the things that was surprising for me is having now walked so many houses that have had the bottom four feet of exposed. There's so much more termite damage out there than I ever knew. I mean, it's probably 35, 40% of all the houses. And I thought it was closer to like 8 or maybe 12%. Yeah. Yeah. But it is a much bigger number of houses that have termite right. damage mm-hmm. than what I ever, ever, ever actually knew. Okay, so it's nextgenappraisals.com. That's nextgenappraisals.com, 713-346-9911. The music says I'm out of time. We've got to do another quick change, and pretty care will be back after the break.
You found or inherited a great investment property. Problem is, you don't know how much it's worth, or more importantly, what to do to maximize your investment while mitigating risk. This is exactly why we started Next Gen Appraisals. Next Gen is a group of appraisers specializing in investment real estate. We understand that investors aren't just looking for a number of what their property is worth, but a comprehensive analysis of the market. Give NextGen a call at 713-346-9911 or check us out online at nextgenappraisals.com. Hello, real estate investors. Do you need a lender that moves fast at the speed of a jet to fund your investment properties? Jet Lending will help you purchase properties quickly with as little cash out of pocket as possible. Jet Lending also sets up a repair escrow fund. All right, I'm switching over to property costs. care now. Jet Lending okay. is a fast right. and friendly hard money source for first-time investors okay. and seasoned professionals. It's done. Call 281-872-7800 uh, or yeah. email us at okay. info right. at Jet Hey, good morning, Andrew. Com. Good morning, Dad. Do you have Morning, Matt. Brick, doors that stick or sheetrock that's coming apart? Then you may have foundation movement. Right. Due to our expansive soils in the Houston area, it's probably not a question of if you have movement, but when. Call Foundation Check for a truly independent, unbiased foundation evaluation. Foundation Check has been in business since 2009 and has completed over 1,400 evaluations. We're not in the business of repairing foundations or selling you unnecessary peer work but we are in the business of evaluating your foundation. Our product is designed for house flippers, landlords, or even owner-occupied properties. Each of our files is reviewed by a licensed engineer. Remember to check before every repair. Call 346-702-3825. That's 346-702-3825. Or you can reach us online at foundationcheck.com. That's foundationcheck.com. Time is money in a real estate deal. If your insurance company is slow or non-responsive, you could lose a deal like that. You need a quick turnaround on quotes or binders? The agency for that is Benchmark Insurance Group of Texas. The team at Benchmark understands the investor mindset. They know what you need and when you need it. We're here for you. Are you a rehabber, wholesaler, buy and hold or flipper? Bundling your properties on a single policy will help save time and money. Benchmark has been in business for over 10 years and we insure over 30,000 properties. Contact Benchmark about our exclusive investor package. Call us and let us show you what we can do for you at 281-569-4353. That's 281-569-4353. Or online at BenchmarkBroker.com. That's BenchmarkBroker.com. That's 281-569-4353. Or online at BenchmarkBroker.com. Are you looking for an investor-friendly general contractor for your investment property? Then call Fast Track Remodeling at 832-742-9992 or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. Fast Track Remodeling specializes in turnkey remodeling of single-family investment properties. Whether it's a flip rehab or a rental rehab, we manage every aspect of a rehab from start to finish with a highly efficient, standardized process. Over the last six years, Fast Track has completed over 700 projects, which has helped us to create our three keys to success. Use a detailed scope of work so that everything gets done, train and maintain quality crews so it gets done right, and complete the work in a proper order so it gets done fast. No more managing it yourself, no more doing the work yourself. Fast Track Remodeling really does manage it all. So give us a call today at 832 732- 742-9992 again that's 832-742-9992 or reach us on the web at fasttrackremodeling.com this is business 1110 Hey, welcome back. Right Path Real Estate Radio 713-785-1817 join live in the studio Jerry Ta, Property Care, PropertyCareHouston.com, 713-489-7653. How are you doing? Doing well. Good, good. morning, everybody. Yeah, good morning. It seemed like traffic was kind of light today. It was. Yeah. It, it was really rough, I think, two days ago. Yeah, it was. I, I think I got here, got to li- work pretty late. Right. But it's been a little bit lighter. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, the rain kind of sucks. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, apparently this weekend it's supposed to no no rain. Nice and Friday, sunny. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, today I think it's supposed to stop, but just yeah. cloudy, and then it's supposed to be sunny from there. Right. So, yeah. have you had any properties having any issues with the water? 
water. Yeah. As far as no flooding or anything like no, that. No, no. Fl- like, you know, I actually was gonna get a client, and he said his parents' house flooded, and I, maybe it was a pipe leak or something. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. I didn't ask any further. I was just like, okay. Yeah. He said his, his parents was gonna move into his rental house before. Uh, before he rents it out to you. Yeah. Before he gets it out. Did, mm-hmm. did he get the leaks done correctly? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. We haven't. Yeah. We weren't able to lease it out yet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I just, you know, do you make your parents sign a lease so, so that you can follow all the protocol when, <laughs> when you do a victim? I was like, ah, oh, yeah, uh, time for you to go. Yeah, I'm trying to say this nicely. Come on, <laughs> come on, ma, pa. Yeah, I mean, bi- that, that's a big thing with family. Like, hey, yeah. I always sign a lease with family and friends. Yeah. No matter what, yeah. just just in case, you right. know. We could be family and friends today and not tomorrow. Yeah. Still be, <laughs> still be family. Yeah. Can't fire family. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes as much as we want to. Yeah. Dis- yeah. Disliked family. Right. So. All right. So uh, so anything new going on in, in uh, property management? <clears throat> not necessarily. I just came back. You know, every year I try to go to a convention. Yeah. Uh, there's a NARPM convention, which is National Association of Residential Property Managers. Okay. And then from there, you know, you kind of, you just pick up, you know, it's continuous education. Of course, right. Uh, you know, everything Best you do. Best practices are always improving, right? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I, you know it's got to refresh a little bit. Like, right. hey, even some things that maybe I knew I was supposed to do and got yeah. put back on the back burner, maybe coming forward yeah. and, you know, just trying to clean up things a little bit. So I was in San Diego uh, most of last week. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> the, the weather is pretty amazing yeah, no, over there. <laughs> yeah. I can't, and then I came back to this. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So I've never uh, been to a bad weather day in San Diego. No. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not gonna lie. There, I think. I mean, I, I, their claim is that they have like the best weather in the world I, or something, right? I and haven't found anything to dispute it. I, I wouldn't disagree. Yeah. Either. Maybe their morning is pretty cloudy. Yeah. Get a little fog in the morning, but uh, as the day goes on, it's it's pretty nice. Right. And to be that close to the beach and all that, just. And I was actually on Coronado Island. Oh, dang. So I was actually in on that nice yeah. hotel right. uh, on Coronado Island. So, so I was, I was so, right on the beach. So what did, what did you learn? Well, best, new best practices. Did you pick up anything and go, oh, man, what did you walk away with? You know, it's always, again, it's always continuous improvement. It's always something that we've already done before. But, uh, you know, trying to get our workflows correctly. Yeah. Right. Uh, you know, we use DocuSign and mm-hmm. we use ZipLogix and stuff. And I've been trying to look for something a little bit better, even for property management agreements. Right. Um, you know, every, and the one thing I hate about these conventions is everyone says that they do something. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. But it's like this big mystery. Like, yeah. what exactly is yes. that you do or use? You know, like, I got this system that's amazing. You know, this is how we kind of break down our you know, company out, and I'm like, right. okay, can can I get a little bit more? Yeah, right. And it's always it's always up to find more. But apparently, there's a system out there that can you know even a little bit better than DocuSign, or even maybe DocuSign is the answer. But I just need to upgrade to the Enterprise Edition, right, to get all the bells and whistles that comes along so, with so it. So I assume DocuSign and some of the other Dot Loop and uh, some of the all the others. They did they have booths there? Did they have salespeople? Is it a trade show as well? Or yes, yeah. it's a trade show as well. Uh, it's you know what's funny is that. And, you know, I helped you out here a little bit, but I think five booths for screening. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's there's tons of screening right. uh, companies out there. And we were, I actually wanted to talk to one, I, I believe, CoreLogic. Yeah. Uh, if oh, anyone wow. doesn't know CoreLogic, it's, I mean, everything runs on Core, based on yeah. CoreLogic systems. Matrix, uh, uh, HAR, MLS, yeah. So, so CoreLogic is actually coming out with a uh, tenant screening. Oh, really? And they yeah. haven't gotten with HAR yet. Yeah. Or they're trying to get in with hardware. Hey, this is kind of the main provider. Yeah, right. Same thing as ZipLogic. Yeah. This, you know, this is the main provider for all your forms. Sure. So they're trying to get in with Har, I believe, to be the main provider of tenant screening. Because you know, as you know, all the agents are like, "How do you screen tenants?" Yeah, like, right. there's this big mystery. I'm like, "How do you screen tenants?" And and you know, makes me wonder, like, who are you play? Like, how are these agents right. placing tenants in their properties? Right. Well, I think on the buyer's agent side, that's that's the side that most people are on. They leave it up to the listing agent to right. do it, or for a property management company. And not, but you know, it's surprising to me how many people want to self manage three, four, five properties. I'm like, you, you, there's no way possible you could be doing mm-hmm. that as efficiently as like what Property Care can do. Right. And so why even? I mean, it's like for eighty five dollars a month. Why would you want to manage your own property? I mean, that's yeah. just. 
That's ludicrous. And, and, and like the fact that to me, agents yeah. are trying to figure out how to screen correctly. Yeah. What makes you think a, a person that self manages? Uh, how, like, how do they figure that out? Like, oh, hey, can you go to Credit Karma and run your credit? Yeah, <laughs> you know, like I, I've actually heard that before. Yeah. Like, yeah, I get a Credit Karma uh, from them and see their credit score. But what about everything else, like right. eviction and stuff? Um, well, my biggest concern on, on screening, like you helped us out just because uh, we, we were, were setting up. In fact, we're contracting it tomorrow, mm-hmm. a situation where we're selling a property uh, with seller financing. Right. And uh, it's a flip house. Right. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a $360,000 sales price. So it's, it's higher end. And right. we're not carrying the paper long term, but we've set it up. And it's a, it's a, it's a great deal for the lender. Uh, they're going to put – the buyer's putting $150,000 down on a $360,000 house, and we used uh, an RMLO right. for uh, for the screening on the finances. But we're like – but they don't do background like criminal screening or all that kind of stuff because that's not financial. And like my my lender, I'm, I know them really, really well and, and want to protect them, do everything I can to, to keep them safe because they're not full-time you know, real estate lender. Right. Uh, they're they're passive. Yeah, they truly are. They're, passive. they're truly passive, <laughs> right? And they're in our group, and we protect people in our group. I mean, we really right. do to the best of our ability. We do everything we can. I mean, I treat it like it's my own money, even yeah. though it's not. And um, and so, yeah, sure enough, uh, you know, you did a background check and it comes up clean. And but you know, we're looking. I mean, are are, are they are they sex offenders? Are there? You know, it's kind of like I mean, you gotta you want to know who you're dealing with, right? And uh, for. For sure, Chase would do that. Wells Fargo would do that. You know, Bank of America would do. A, I mean, we're not doing anything any different than that, right? And uh, and so yeah, it turns out. And so thanks for helping us out for that. And we're not we're not offering that as a service for no. everybody. But, you know, <laughs> but this business is about relationships. Right. It really is. And so you know, when you can leverage relationships, I I just thought about well, I could go get that set up myself, but I don't I don't want I don't want to set that up. I mean. I, I, yeah. you're not going to do it well the first time and you're going to spend hours and hours and like who do I know that would probably have that in place already and you're the first person I thought of and to do screening I mean there, there's obviously not anyone can just screen right. anybody right. I mean they, they, they got to do a background check on you right, in order for you yeah. to be qualified enough to screen someone else Correct. like you know, passing you know financial information like that it's you know very very important absolutely yeah well because it's it's kind of like you have an insurance background so I think from a risk management standpoint and then you know you think about all the HIPAA files and things like that and right. you know what information can and cannot be shared and it's really really limited you know you start you, you take someone's social security number mm-hmm. you know on an application or something like that 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 puts you liable for a lot of things that, that could yeah you know. so we didn't want yeah. any of that any part of that so again thanks for helping us out yeah so it's propertycarehouston.com. That's propertycarehouston.com, 713-489-7653, 713-489-7653. So you go all over Houston, essentially, right? You, right. We, even, we say greater Houston. Yeah, So right. we cover a little bit beyond Houston also. So go to Conroe. Conroe. Go, go to Brookshire. Not to Brookshire yet. Okay. Got it. Uh, West Katy. Yeah, Katy yeah. to West Katy. We go down to Pearland on, yeah, I guess, on the, the real south. 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 Yeah. Uh, we've actually never made it to Alvin or... Jackson, like that. Okay. Uh, to the east, we go to Baytown. I uh, have not n- made it past Baytown because I, I think I just. I've got a house coming me. up for you in pa- in Pearland. In so, Pearland. Yeah. Okay. Fast track should be finishing. I think Friday on the on the rehab. And then to Fortify South, we made it down to Texas City quite yeah. a bit. At this <laughs> quite, point. quite a bit, right? <laughs> we we stay off the island though. Yeah. Uh, so we definitely don't cross the causeway. Yeah. 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 We don't. We haven't made it to the island yet. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So. So, yeah, in fact, I've got a property coming up. Uh, I think Fast Track's finishing it Friday, so you should be getting a call from, from Maribel. Okay. And it's ready to go, and so signs, signs can go up. You can list it, all that kind of stuff. It's a, it's a nice two-story house, I think 2,200 square feet. Yeah. I think rents in the area are 1,800, 1900. Right. Uh, something like that. Nice house. Yeah. You know, what's, what's crazy, I've, I've had an enormous amount of out-of-town buyers. seems like yeah. there was this big rush at mm-hmm. one point a couple years ago, and then it just, like, everyone got frustrated left, and now it's... Now you got the real people yeah. coming back. Right. Uh, so we we've actually helped a lot of out town buyers recently. Yeah, uh, making sure that their remodels are going correctly, or their contractors are actually doing what they're saying. Right, uh, which is kind of part of our, <clears throat> you know, it helps us and also is something that's value added for yeah, out town clients. What are some mistakes that you see that investors are making in terms of rehabs? Are they are they are you seeing any mistakes? No, I mean, you know. It, as long as if you're doing everything, that's great. Right. You know, I mean, there's always a little couple of things that you do more. Like, you know, instead of putting a cheap thirty dollar fan in, yeah, into you know one light bulb, which yeah. is frustrating for everybody. Right. Just put a normal light fixture. Right. In there, uh, you know, we, we 
we, we talk about this all the time. We've gone away from carpet, right. you know, mostly hard surfaces. Right. I mean, tile throughout the house, I mean, you're not going to lose any value right. on um, the we rental. We went carpet on the, uh, on the stairwell and, and upstairs. There was tile all, all downstairs, but right. uh, on, this, on this particular house down in Pearland. And, and, and flipping carpet stairs to a hard surface is yeah. really, it's I mean, hard. maybe it's not cost effective, it's, too. It's not. Yeah. Well, in fact, we, we went... Uh, we went carpet. Almost everything upstairs. There's the big living area upstairs at the top of the stairwell, and then in the bedrooms. That all the bedrooms are upstairs. So we went carpet in all of those and kept kept hard surfaces in the in the bathrooms. But, right. But it'll have all new carpet, and it'll, it'll I mean it'll be nice. So I'm gonna hang on to it for probably two years as a rental, and then and then flip it. Yeah. It, it's a little. I I, th- I think what's gonna happen. In, I mean, I think it's got about a 255 ARV right now, mm-hmm. and uh, and I bought it uh, subject to. Yeah. And uh, had to put some money into it to, to get it caught up in the mortgage and, and then let the seller take take some money and then have now spent money on the rehab and all that. So I've got too much in it to flip it, but it'll it'll cash flow yeah. well, and I think it's going to appreciate it. Pa- Pearland is a very desirable area. Oh I God. mean, it's, it's appreciating it's, like crazy. It's not like, you know, it doesn't ring like Katy or something, right, sure. but, I mean, it's a very desirable area. Well, I think once 288 gets finished and, and they're expanding it, you get a fast track to – no pun intended, into the downtown and all or that. medical center. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Medical center, downtown. Great jobs. So a lot of people are moving to Pearland, and I, I think this place is only going to appreciate it. I think it's going to be a $300,000 house in two or three years. Right. Yeah. So, And then it'll be too expensive to keep as a rental. I'll, I'll exit out of that and buy two or three more mm-hmm. with, with the profits. So, Hey, you're listening to Right Path Real Estate Radio. We're talking with Jerry Ta. He's with Property Care, propertycarehouston.com. That's propertycarehouston.com, 713-489-7653. That's 713-489-7653. I use him for my rental properties. You should, too. Give him a call. We'll get him started today. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, man. You found or inherited a great investment property. Problem is, you don't know how much it's worth, or more importantly, what to do to maximize your investment while mitigating risk. This is exactly why we started Next Gen Appraisals. Next Gen is a group of appraisers specializing in investment real estate. We understand that investors aren't just looking for a number of what their property is worth, but a comprehensive analysis of the market. Give NextGen a call at 713-346-9911 or check us out online at nextgenappraisals.com. Hello, real estate investors. Do you need a lender that moves fast at the speed of a jet to fund your investment properties? Jet Lending will help you purchase properties quickly with as little cash out of pocket as possible. Jet Lending also sets up a repair escrow fund to help you with repair costs. Jet Lending is your fast and friendly hard money source for first-time investors and seasoned professionals. Call 281-872-7800 or email us at info at jetlending.com. Do you have cracks in your brick, doors that stick, or sheetrock that's coming apart? Then you may have foundation movement. Due to our expansive soils in the Houston area, it's probably not a question of if you have movement, but when. Call Foundation Check for a truly independent, unbiased foundation evaluation. Foundation Check has been in business since 2009 and has completed I'm by, I'm over here, by the 1,400 way. evaluations. I heard you. We got 90 seconds. Uh, you heard me? How'd you hear me? Oh, like, like before you, even if you guys don't have your headphones on, like I can so hear you guys like shuffling around. Oh yeah. Foundation. Our product is designed for house flippers, landlords. So they found uh, uh, owner occupied properties. Have, have, have they found someone? Is reviewed by a licensed engineer. Uh, I think Remember no. To check oh, no. For okay. every repair, call three four six seven zero two. 3825 that's 3467023825 or you can reach us online at foundationcheck.com that's foundationcheck.com are you looking for an investor friendly general contractor for your investment property oh, I am then I. call fast track remodeling at 832-742-9992 or reach us on the web at fasttrackremodeling.com fast track remodeling specializes in turnkey remodeling of single family investment properties whether it's a flip rehab or a rental rehab no more managing it yourself no more doing the work yourself fast track remodeling really does manage it all so give us a call today at 832-742-9992 time is money in a real estate deal if your insurance company is slow or non-responsive you could lose a deal like that You need a quick turnaround on quotes, binders, and the agency for that is Benchmark Insurance Group of Texas. The team at Benchmark understands the investor mindset. They know what you need and when you need it. It's there for you. Call Houston's leading real estate risk management experts. Benchmark Insurance Group of Texas. 
281-569-4353. That's 281-569-4353. Or online at BenchmarkBroker.com. This is Business 1110. All right, hot mics. Hey, welcome back. Right Path Real Estate Radio, 713-785-1817 is our call-in number. If you're going to call, you got to make it quick because we only have a few minutes left. In the last few minutes, what I'd like to do is tell you about our Wealth Through Real Estate workshop. I'm going to have a – I saw a post – I uh, won't go into a lot of details, but a guy's trying to determine what to do with a certain amount of money between now and the end of the year to save taxes, things like that. And what I realize is that most people haven't done a very effective job of comparing how real estate works versus stocks, bonds, 401k, all of those kind of things. And if you want to take a look at comparing how to maximize your returns, you know, I see people make decisions. That they go. In fact, I had a guy that said, "Man, if I could get ten percent, that would be awesome. That'd be great. I'd love to do that." And I'm thinking, ten percent. I mean, you realize ten percent compounded over, let's say, twenty years. Start with any number. Let's say fifty thousand dollars, and then you can set aside another twenty, thirty thousand dollars over the next. You know, just just run a table, run a calculation, just build. You know, an amortization table, an investment table. Start seeing how that works. Where you can do, you know, put twenty thousand dollars aside, start with fifty grand, whatever your number is, run it out over twenty years at ten percent, then run it out at fifteen percent, then run it out at nineteen percent, and you realize that hey, when as you start going beyond ten percent, the there's you start having some issues because hitting that in the market is really really rare. In fact, you start increasing your risk exponentially. Warren Buffett's been able to do not by buying stock, but buying businesses. That's what he's really doing. He understands that he's not buying stock. He's buying the underlying business. And as a result of that, he's been able to get a 19% return over the long haul. We can show you how you can get 30, 35, and more percent through single-family real estate. It's one of the best times to buy single-family buy and hold because right now you can actually buy assets below replacement cost. In other words, you can buy a house that's livable right now for less than what you could build new. And when you take that into consideration One minute. that you're buying below replacement cost, that means that that asset will appreciate. And we've talked to economists. We know what that's predicted to appreciate. And when you start understanding what leverage appreciation is and that there's actually five different ways that you make money in real estate, and we talk about all of those five in our Wealth Through Real Estate workshop. It's just it's a it's a short one hour. Our next one is today. We're going to do one today at noon for all you people in the oil and gas seconds. energy corridor. You could be here today. We've got a few spots left. Go on our website rightpathrealestate.com. That's rightpathrealestate.com. Register for it's a free event. You can try talking me down on the price but you won't have much success. I'll be seconds. the one speaking live personally today. I'm a real estate investor actively doing what I talk about today. Come and learn from someone that's doing it in the Houston market. Ten seconds. Go to rightpathrealestate.com, rightpathrealestate.com. Register. It's free. Look forward to seeing you today at 12. Thanks a lot, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. All right. Mike's off. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.